A comet twice the size of Mount Everest is approaching the Earth and will become visible in the coming weeks. Its official name, Comet 12P Pons Brooks, is much less intimidating than its nickname, the Devil Comet. The comet is returning after 71 years, and the most remarkable thing this time is that it might also become visible during the April 8th total solar eclipse. Observers in the path of totality have a unique opportunity to see the Devil Comet pop into view close to Jupiter, as the Moon completely covers the Sun. Since Comet 12P is a cryovolcanic comet, it's pretty unpredictable. The comet earned the Devil Comet moniker due to a significant event in late July 2023. During this period, it experienced an outburst, releasing substantial gas and dust leading to a dramatic increase in brightness by a factor of about 100 almost overnight. This was the first outburst in 69 years, and as of November last year, the comet had erupted four times. The outburst resulted in the comet's coma taking on a unique shape, resembling a horseshoe or having horns, with a dark core and visibly bright wings or tips. This distinctive appearance led to its portrayal in the media as the Devil Comet. As Comet 12P approaches the Earth, it may undergo more outbursts. If that happens, the comet will put up a great show in the evening skies of this year's spring. It's a Halley-type comet that often appears only once or twice within one's lifetime. So, in this video, I'm going to tell you about all the important dates related to the Devil Comet and where you should look in the sky to spot the celestial visitor. Comet 12P Pons Brooks is this year's first naked eye comet. Much like your view of the comet depends on where you are, digital content often faces regional locks. This brings us to our video sponsor, NordVPN. It must have happened several times that you really want to watch a movie for entertainment or a documentary for learning purposes, but it's unavailable in your region. In such cases, NordVPN can help you place your device anywhere in the world and enable access to geo-restricted content. But that's not all. In today's digital age, spam and phishing attacks are more common than ever, posing real threats to your personal data. NordVPN adds an extra layer of security to keep those potentially harmful websites at bay. You can hide your IP address with just a single click making it tough for anyone to track your online activities. As viewers of this channel, I've arranged a special offer for you. You can use our unique link, nordvpn.com slash secrets of universe, which is also in the description. You get a two-year plan with a huge discount plus four extra months. And the best part is that it's completely risk-free with NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. The comet bears the name of two of the greatest astronomers of the 19th century, Jean-Louis Pons and William R. Brooks. Pons was the greatest visual comet discoverer of all time. He visually discovered 37 comets in 26 years, a record that still holds. One of his discoveries came on July 12, 1812. Pons described it as a shapeless object with no apparent tail. But over the next month, the comet became bright enough to be dimly visible to the naked eye. On August 15th of that year, it reached its peak brightness of fourth magnitude. This new comet also possessed a split tail, measuring approximately three degrees. On September 2nd, 1883, William R. Brooks, a British-born American comet observer, accidentally stumbled upon the comet. Brooks was an accomplished comet discoverer like Pons, with his 27 visual discoveries ranking him second to Pons himself. Only after the initial orbital calculation of Brooks' discovery were completed did it become apparent that the comet he found was the same one observed by Pons in 1812. Consequently, the comet is now named after both observers, bearing the surnames of Pons and Brooks. 12P means that it was the 12th periodic comet to be discovered. Through meticulous observations, it was determined that this comet had an orbital period of around 71 years. In 1954, the comet returned as predicted, but this appearance was less spectacular than in 1884. Its path and the position of the Earth did not favor a bright display 
and thus it did not become a prominent object in the night sky. And now, about 70 years later, 12P Pons Brooks is back and promises a fair show. It's the comet's fourth visit since its discovery in 1812. Comet 12P is racing towards the sun at a speed 30 times faster than the fastest F-16 aircraft. The behavior of comets is unpredictable, and since 12P is a cryovolcanic comet, predicting its activity is notoriously challenging. A cryovolcanic comet is a type of comet that exhibits cryovolcanism, a process similar to the volcanism we see on Earth, but involving the eruption of volatiles such as water, ammonia, and methane, instead of molten rock. These substances exist in frozen states under the low temperature conditions typical of the outer solar system. When a cryovolcanic comet approaches the sun, the increase in temperature causes these icy volatiles to sublimate or liquefy and then vaporize, leading to eruptions of gas and dust from the comet's nucleus. The reason why predicting the behavior of such comets is challenging is because there are plenty of factors involved. They have heterogeneous compositions with their nuclei containing a mix of ice, rock, and organic compounds. This means that their response to solar heating can be highly unpredictable. Secondly, the history of a comet's passes through the inner solar system can alter its behavior on subsequent visits. Past close encounters with the sun can deplete volatile materials or cause physical changes to the comet's nucleus that affect its activity. Finally, the jets of material ejected from the surface can also cause non-gravitational forces to act on the comet, changing its trajectory in ways that are difficult to predict accurately without detailed observations and modeling. The behavior of Comet 12P has been quite interesting so far. On 10 June 2020, it was recovered by the Lowell Discovery Telescope beyond the orbit of Saturn. At that time, its apparent magnitude was 23. The apparent magnitude is the measure of how bright an object appears from Earth. The smaller the number, the brighter the object. The human naked eye can see objects up to an apparent magnitude of 6 under perfectly dark skies. On July 20, 2023, Comet 12P flared up and brightened by a factor of 100 times overnight. The outburst resulted in the comet having a horseshoe-shaped coma. It was probably created by the release of about 10 billion kilograms of dust and ice into space. This is when the comet got its nickname, the Devil Comet. The comet outburst again on 5th October 2023, brightening by a factor of 40 to magnitude 11. Two more outbursts were recorded on November 1st and November 14th, with the comet brightening to an apparent magnitude of 9.3 after the latter. Then, a couple of outbursts were observed on 14th December and 18th January 2024. By mid-February, the comet had brightened to a magnitude of 7.5, and by March 7th, it was a magnitude of 5.5, within the naked eye's limit. It was located about 10 degrees from the Andromeda Galaxy. According to Joe Rao from Space.com, until April 5th, Comet 12P Pons Brooks will travel from north of the Great Square of Pegasus to Aries. One of the best times to spot the comet with your naked eye will be at the end of March, when on the evenings of March 30th and 31st, it will pass very close to the second magnitude star, Hamal. If the comet doesn't undergo more outbursts, it might become difficult to see it with the naked eye in April. However, the total solar eclipse on April 8th provides a unique opportunity for some observers in North America. The Devil Comet will be 25 degrees away from the Sun. If it's bright enough, you'll see it between Jupiter and the Sun, but closer to Jupiter. The comet's altitude in the evening sky will continue to drop. On 13th April, it will align with Jupiter, Uranus, and the Pleiades star cluster in the western evening sky. Again, it all depends on the comet's activity. Future outbursts could lead to a minor surge in brightness, and the comet could put up a fair show even in the dusk skies of the first half of April. Then, the comet will be lost in the sunset glow, and on April 21st, its orbit will take it to its perihelion, the closest point to the Sun. It will become a southern hemisphere object, and in May, it will pass close to Orion. On May 20th, the Devil Comet will be near the constellations Blue Supergiant, Rigel, 
The closest approach to Earth will be on the 2nd of June 2024, when it will be 1.55 AU, or 272 million kilometers from Earth. It will probably drop to 6th or 7th magnitude by the end of May, and 8th or 9th magnitude by the end of June. After 12P Pons Brooks moves back into the vastness of space, it will embark on a 71-year journey to orbit the Sun once more. For most of us, this appearance will be the only time we see it, yet for the youngest among us, there lies a chance to see this celestial visitor again in the summer of 2095. Halley-type comets are a beautiful reminder of the grand scale of the cosmos and that we exist for a mere blink of an eye in astronomical terms. They remind Carl Sagan's words that life is but a momentary glimpse of the wonder of this astonishing universe. So happy sky gazing! Make sure to subscribe to us for timely space updates and check out the link in the description to take advantage of NordVPN's special offer.